Hi, it's Smart Home Sunday. I wanted to share a quick little update with you this week about the Philips Hue bridge. And uh, what I've discovered during the last week is that there are some magical things happening. It would seem that Signify are working on some updates to do with the firmware of the bridge. And in fact, there's already some new firmware that went on uh, in May. And that's a little while ago now, but it seems that push notifications are on the way. It's undocumented at the moment. Uh, I might be speaking gibberish to you right now, but anyway, the good news is Home Assistant have jumped on board with this straight away. So with the 2021.6, so firmware update for Home Assistant from last month, so the June update, is already now supporting these undocumented API push notifications from the bridge. Now, I'll tell you why this is exciting. Because a couple of months ago, I was trying out how to get Home Assistant and the Hue Bridge to talk really nicely together. And one of the things I was noticing was a little bit of lag. So if a light went on, then I'd have Home Assistant react and it would just take just a little bit, you know, sometimes it was half a second, other times it was a second. Well, the reason is, prior to this new little update, the only way that Home Assistant would know what was actually going on inside the bridge is it would need to pull the bridge. So, polling the API, basically, anything new? No. Anything new? No. Anything new? And Home Assistant would do that every five seconds by default. And so, of course, if you're wanting to listen for a light to be turned on, well, you might sometimes have to wait five seconds before Home Assistant says anything new and the bridge says, yes, a light turned on. So hence the delay. Now the push notification, now that's really great because what happens now is the bridge will say light turned on and Home Assistant can just listen. And it does mean that I'm going to be so excited now to see how the integration between Home Assistant and the Hue Bridge can just, just work just, just that much tighter. Because it really should actually mean that it is more responsive. And it just happens quicker. And that's going to be great. Because I am really looking forward to tinkering more now with this Philips Hue Home Assistant all together with the lighting automation system. It's really coming together. I'm liking how this is looking. So big thumbs up, Philips Hue Signify. You're actually, uh, well, even though you haven't documented anything yet, told anyone in the world about what you're actually doing, you apparently are doing something in the back end to make the API better. And two thumbs up to Home Assistant for jumping in and just finding those undocumented changes and adding them straight away into the core of Home Assistant. So it was pretty exciting. That's it, that's all I've got for you today. If none of that made any sense, I'm sorry. <laughs> Put a question below and I'll try to explain in more detail. Otherwise, I'll see you next week when I start to try and put all this together and we can have a look and see how much more responsive the integration is. See you then, bye.